You know, when I think about demand, demand comes from from happiness, from from the you demand things that are going to make you happy, that are going to give you some level of satisfaction, that are going to give you some level of utility or or usefulness. Now, when I think about demand, oops, hope the artist doesn't know about that. I think about Venice when I think about satisfaction and happiness because I had always wanted to take my wife on a gondola ride in Venice. And remember, just gentlemen out there, happy wife equals happy life. <laughs> you can increase your whole life satisfaction if you increase your wife's happiness. So I thought it would be a good idea to maximize utility usefulness, satisfaction, whatever you want to call it, we can maximize that if we decided to, to go to Venice and take a gondola ride. Of course, I found out it was pretty expensive to be there, but I thought, this is the thing about vacations, at the margin, you're not, it's not that expensive. Yeah, it was pretty expensive to, to do that, but when you compare it to going home, wishing you had done something, and then having to spend all that money to get to that vacation destination, it's at the margin pretty cheap compared to the thousands of dollars to go back and recreate that moment. So we're just taking a gondola ride through the streets of Venice and uh, it turns out a gondola ride is $80, 80 euros, which is crazy when you consider that we could have taken a barge ride through the canal for three euros a piece or we could have actually walked for free, but, but sometimes it's important to maximize utility rather than minimize cost. So, <laughs> Why demand, you, the demand for any product really is tied in with the whole market basket of goods and services that you demand. Now, my wife and I met, in fact, because we both love to travel, and the person who knew both of us said, You two ought to meet because you both love to travel. Maybe you'd like to travel together. And in order to do all that kind of traveling, we we've, we've made choices. In fact, the car I drive is 11 years old, and it's got about 160,000 miles on it. We bought it at about 113,000 miles. Uh, the truck I drive has well, it's probably got 175, 80, 180,000 miles on it. We I bought that years ago. I bought it when it was five years old, and I've had it for seven years now. So that's a 12-year-old vehicle. Uh, the last time I had a car loan on a new car was when I was 24 years old. And three months after that, I, I lost my job and I realized I never wanted to be in that position again. I wanted to make sure that cars were a much lower uh, portion of my income than, than that. So uh, I spend my money on vacations instead of on cars. But anyway, when talking about demand, which leads to satisfaction, utility, happiness, there's it doesn't have to be a vacation that makes you happy. Could just be could just be a cup of coffee. Need to get a cup of coffee. The Dunkin' Donuts parking lot looks pretty busy here. Yeah, a big long line. Oh, jeepers, the Starbucks, that looks pretty busy too. I don't think I'm going to be getting coffee here. i got to get to work. <clears throat> I wanted to stop and get a cup of coffee on my way to work this morning. Normally, I wouldn't spend the money. I would uh, make coffee at home and have a a cup with breakfast and a second cup on the road and today I didn't have my second cup on the road so thought I'd stop at Dunkin Donuts but the line was too long and thought I'd stop at Starbucks the line was too long there too so it's actually quicker to go to Stewart's and make your own some advantages to that too actually um, I don't like to have too much caffeine so I make half decaf and when I buy it at Stewart's I can get sort of two-thirds decaf and one-third caffeine. I want to I want to stay awake through class, but not too awake. <clears throat> and when it comes to price, it turns out Stewart's is actually cheaper than Starbucks or, or uh, Dunkin' Donuts. And uh, But it's not really priced so much as it is time for me. If I had all three of them in a row and they're all equally fresh coffee, 
I would probably choose Starbucks. My second choice might actually be Stewart's over Dunkin' Donuts, though I like all three. And if the Dunkin' Donuts was fresher, I would drink that over old Starbucks or old Stewart's because um, that's more important to me to have the fresher coffee. But the taste, you know, I, I guess I like all three of them. Now I drink mine black. I used to put in a little cream and sugar, so it was a little different then. But I like the fact that Stewart's allows me to to mix my own so I have two-thirds decaf instead of uh, a half decaf when I asked for that. But the price, Stewart's, I saved a little bit of money. I had a little bit more um, time as well because it's actually quicker to drive into, to stop, walk into the Stewart's, get your own coffee, stand in line, pay, than it is to sit through all those cars at Dunkin' Donuts or at uh, Starbucks. Of course, can't get a donut with my coffee. Well, I guess I can at Stewart's, but I don't. I don't at Dunkin' Donuts either, though, so that's not really all that important to me to have extra goods. I just wanted to have a cup of coffee. I'm pretty indifferent in terms of the, the price of coffee. Uh, it's not important to me that I save 50 cents, although at some point, it just, I really, that's why I, I, I don't use, I don't buy coffee here every day because the truth of the matter is I can buy, what is it, a two pound coffee for eight dollars and that'll last me a couple of weeks at home so why would I spend two dollars every single day that's like seven hundred dollars a year and uh, I got a lot better things to do with my money than than uh, spend it on that but I, I don't consider coffee a luxury good I do consider it a bit of a necessity particularly in the morning although the truth of the matter is I have two cups one at breakfast and then one other one but they're both half decaf, so essentially I have about one cup of caffeine. If I had more caffeine than that, I think, uh, you know, you still get all wiry and jittery, and it's not a, it's not a good thing. So I, I do try to limit that because at some point in time, too much caffeine is actually worse for me than, than to have. Uh, I need some, but not too much.